He is immortal. Born in the highlands of Scotland 400 years ago, he is not alone. There are others like him, some good, some evil. For centuries, he has battled the forces of darkness, with holy ground his only refuge. He cannot die unless you take his head and with it his power. In the end, there can be only one. He is Duncan MacLeod, the Highlander. Like you went swimming without your life preserver. You made a mistake, Melee. If you want to fight, let me get my sword. Oh no, I don't want to fight. No, I want your head. <laughs> Flawless, exactly as I have planned. And you were superb. Although you could have been a little quicker. She's dead, isn't she? I was perfect. You're good, Michael. But you only get one mistake. Well, I won't make it. Unless you get careless or lazy or you don't choose your targets carefully. Everything in the proper place at the right time. And never move unless you're ready. And always be ready. I'm ready. Excuse me? Get yourself in. Glenn Morrigan, if you have it. Coming up. Excuse me. Ian. Oh, it's good to see you. How are you? Mike Barrett. Ian Bancroft. It's a pleasure, Mr. Bancroft. A real honor. Pleasure's mine. I've heard good things about you. 
So, what do you think of the joint? Well, I give high marks to any club that serves fine and single malt. It suits you. It must be true what they say. You can take the boy out of Chicago, but you can't take Chicago out of the boy. You know, you're still the only person I know who gets away with calling me boy. So, who needs reassignment? I do. Maylee? She's gone. I'll be damned. Here we go again, ladies and gents. Five card drop. Joe, I didn't know we were having a party. Well, the more the merrier. Grab a chair, you can make a contribution to my retirement fund. Oh, uh, Justin Russell, Maureen Russell. Rita Luce, uh, no thanks. You know I don't like to gamble. Well, Mike's off duty, so it's uh, serve yourself at the bar. Ian, I'm sorry about Mei Ling. Why? I know how hard it is to lose one. When Casper got killed, it was like losing family. Gaspar was your first assignment. You didn't know any better. But you should know better now. Go back. Check. So it looks like Trent is definitely moving to Boulder, Colorado. I'll open for five. <clears throat> On this. Okay. So, you gonna go with him? We haven't decided yet. Marine's nervous about moving to a new city. What's Trent like? Does it make a difference? Keeps to himself. Maureen thinks he's been writing historical romances under a pseudonym. He is. Raise your ten. I'll see that. They any good? A lot of sword fighting. You must be basing them on someone else's life. We've been watching the guy for three years, and I don't think he used his sword once. Call. Must be rusty as hell. What was that kid, uh, remember, what was his name, uh, took out Richland? Boyer. A uh, flush. Nine high. Fair Queens. What was I doing in this game? Uh, full house, kings and threes. <laughs> Boyer, yeah. Five feet two and skinny as a rail. Didn't think he'd last a year. He's still around. Last I heard. Well, like it's like anything else. You never know until the last card. Well, the one that surprised me was Grayson. No one thought that anybody would nail that son of a bitch. I only saw the beginning. Looked like McLeod was finished, and uh, well, I didn't want to stick around and see it happen.
There can be only one. seem to have any weaknesses. Yeah, not that I noticed. To tell you the truth, Reed, I'm surprised you got Christian still around. As young as he is, I'd have thought he was easy pickings. Maybe he just works harder than anybody else. You sound like his manager. Why? Because I think he's as good as anybody out there? Objectivity. Objectivity. Oh, give me a break. You put two years of your life into Mei Ling Shen, and when she's killed, you just go off to a poker game as if nothing happened? Well, I'm sorry. I'm not like that. Then it sounds to me like you'd better find a new assignment. Don't even think about it. She's been with Christian since the beginning. Perhaps that's the problem. She's lost her perspective. That's crap! Come on, Ian. Everyone tends to root for their guy a little. It's an occupational hazard. That doesn't make it right. You're too close to him. Who are you to judge me? Is this all they are to you? Cards and a game? Here's Mei Ling. The game is over, right? The game goes on without her. Here is Xavier. And this one. Here is Sarah. And here is Stanton. And here is Darius. Rita, Rita. Go on, keep on playing. They're just cards. Perhaps we've uh, played enough poker for tonight. Hey Dawson, what's up? Need some coffee? Cloud. What is it? Mei Ling Shen. When? Two days ago. In Hong Kong. Who was it? Does it matter? Michael Christian. Quite young. He became immortal about 20 years ago. Okay. I did some digging and I found this. One of your chronicles? Mei Ling's. From the end of the 18th century. We had a man in Mongolia. I thought you might want to have a look at it. champion. In five years, he has not been defeated. Perhaps he needs a stronger opponent. Would that be you? Someday. I have heard it said that experience is the best teacher. 
Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Perhaps you wish to learn how to do that. No, maybe later. A seeker master, one who knows the way of the white crane, not the bull. Do you know of him? Only one can teach you that. At the end of the village, you will find what you seek. Thank you. Duncan MacLeod of the Clan MacLeod. I've not come to fight you. Then why are you here? To learn. I was told I could find a master here. Who told you that? A man named Kim's son. A good man, but a poor student. You were his teacher? If you choose not to believe me, that is not my concern. No, no, forgive me. You are a woman. Are you always this observant? Body is not particular about the hand that throws it. True. It must have been hard for you to find a master who would take you on. Because women are refused training? Why? I'm one who refused to be refused. When one's life is in danger, one is capable of doing extraordinary things. Great twice in one day. <sighs> you have to be a reed in the wind, neither opposing nor giving way. I thought I'd feel the weight of the mountain. The weight of the mountain must pass through you, not anchor you. <clears throat> Sounds like he had a samurai for a teacher. Aye. One of us? No. <clears throat> Do you risk rest for a while? This must be another Western custom. Shall I have a servant bring your pillow? I will let you know when I have had enough. I'd like to see you try that one again. As you wish, honorable guest. I think I have had enough. I thought I faced a Gaijin with the spirit of a samurai. What was the superior Western art you wished to show me? Ah, yes, the manly art of... boxing? That was boxing, and you can forget it. Just show me what you do. Whatever... whatever that was. Hideo was obviously a master. Did you have a disagreement? No. And why did you leave him? He died. It is as it must be. But not if our friendship has cost you your life. That is not right. If my lord chooses to have me die, that is his right and my duty. 
So you're just going to wait here until they come for you? My lord has been generous. They will come when it is done. And what is done? When I have taken my own life. And it would be an honor if you would assist me. I cannot do that. You are my friend. And that is why I ask. Because if I should falter, you must keep me from shame. You must end my pain with a pure stroke. But there must be some other way. We can get a boat and leave Japan. I could no more run than I could fly. Koto is a noble samurai name, a name I have been honored to borrow. To dishonor it for all who follow me would be unthinkable. So why Trent? I thought we were here from a cloud. Patience. It's nice to have a real kitchen instead of a mini bar for once. Almost like a real home. I suppose. At least it's better than living out of a suitcase. Yeah, but I'm ready from a cloud. Why wait? Because the timing is not right. First. Trent. From what I hear, he'll be easy. Chopping the head off a librarian. What's the point? Because I said so. You'd be dead without me. You want to stay alive? You do as I say. Don't you think you were a little hard on Rita? No, I meant what I said. She's getting too close to Christian. Uh, so what if she's projecting a little? After her son died, Christian became much more important to her. We have rules. Come on, Ian. I'm mean, getting attached. It happens sometimes. It comes with the job. You know that. He's cut the woman some slack. I don't like it. She was right about Darius, wasn't she? I don't know what you mean. Yes, you do. You spent 30 years watching the man. You're going to try to tell me that you didn't feel something after he was killed? Darius was different. Would it please you that much to destroy me? Immensely. You could have been one of the greatest rulers in the history of the world. Instead, you cower on holy ground. It was 1,400 years ago. But for you, the world hasn't changed. Look outside your cloister. What has changed? The means of destruction only. You're a fool. I should have stopped him. It's... The Brahm was right. People will die because of me. Not because of you, because of him. Perhaps it's time that... Perhaps it's time that I should leave my sanctuary.
what you felt for Darius. She feels for Christian. Michael, Christian is no Darius. Maybe Rita thinks he is. Hey, Joe. McLeod. Um, Ian Bancroft. Duncan McLeod. Nice to meet you. Um, I was leaving town for a couple of days. I was wondering if I could take this with me. Sure. Fine. Look, I'll, uh, I'll see you later, okay, Meg? Sure. Nice to meet you. What the hell was that? How long has this been going on? Easy, Ian. What did you think, Joe? No one would ever find out? Was that why you were defending Rita? I defended Rita because I don't think she's wrong. And you're as far gone as she is. You gave an immortal one of our chronicles. Are you out of your mind? You think I planned this? He found me. What was I supposed to do? What, drop a cyanide tablet to keep our secret? You should have been reassigned. Immediately. You should have left town. There are rules, Joseph. You have your vow. Sometimes in life... You have to do more than just watch. It's finished, James. Joseph. We're family. I'll light you a candle. He always had a way out. I would have done it. No, McLeod. We make mistakes. We clean them up. <sighs> Dawson. I'll see you around. There have been watchers for centuries. If we start ignoring the code, the whole thing falls apart. It's not always black and whitey. This is. It has to be. Why do you think Christian is in town? Perhaps McLeod is next on his list. What are you going to do, Joe? Cloud doesn't need my help. Christian doesn't stand a chance against him. He didn't have a chance against Mei Ling either. I'm his friend. I'm not his guardian angel. You know damn well I'm not about to interfere in an immortal battle. Don't think he's your friend. He's an immortal. You're a watcher. He's not your friend. He never will be. You must have had a remarkable teacher. Yes. Although we did have some minor differences. Differences? Yes. In the beginning, you treated me more than just a student. I'm not surprised I can see where a situation like that could get rather complicated. So the student was obliged to teach the teacher a lesson. And what was that? Oh! 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 Simply, that one of man's greatest assets can also be his greatest liability. I had to ask. I believe the teacher has taught you all she can. It is time, then, for the people to leave. Yes. But perhaps the man will remain. Are you regarding me as more than a student? 
I mean, why do you to be? I may have to teach you a lesson. Someone's coming. Who is it? It's Ian. You better get in the bedroom. I had a hell of a time finding you. What do you want? Rita, I want you to come off this assignment. Thanks for your concern. Christian seems to have piled up an awful lot of victories in his 20 years as an immortal, hasn't he? And a lot of them were pretty damned unlikely. So he's good. So what? Someone's been feeding him inside information. Sort of information only the Watchers have. Rita, why don't you ask for reassignment? Get out of the field. Take a break. Forget it. Christian killed your immortal, and now you're taking it out on me. Well, get used to it. He's going to kill a lot more before he's done. Forget reassignment. I'll see to it that you're out for good. And we'll see how your precious golden boy does without you. losing a friend. No. Coming here is the last thing Ian would have wanted me to do. Do you think he was right? The last thing we did before he died was argue about it. Rule number one. A watcher and an immortal can't be friends. Come on, Joe, you don't have to choose. Don't I? I took an oath. And I broke it. The Watchers have been around for a long time. What gives me the right to say, I'll do this my way? Because you're a man. And part of life is deciding, making your own judgment calls. And choosing who your friends are. Do you regret our friendship, Joe? No. Go. I'll see you out. Unfinished business is always hard. If you didn't believe Ian was right yesterday, dying doesn't make him right today. Follow your instincts. That's all you can do. What if you're wrong? Then you're wrong. You know, the life I live, sometimes you fight, you kill. It never leaves you untouched. I know. Thanks. I'll see you around, Joe. Hey, just the two fellas 
I was looking for. Check it out. Guy owed me a favor, and boom, court side seats. I am telling you, Jack Nicholson does not have a better view. You thought we'd all go together. Well, I don't know. Let me see, Joe. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three. Hey, check that out. It's really nice of you, Rich. Thanks. You're welcome, Mac. So what do you say, Joe? You'll be there? No. No, I won't be there. Did I say something? I'm taking a little trip. Where to? The island. Mac, is, um... Everything okay? Everything's fine. Just have some thinking to do. I'll be back tomorrow. Keep an eye on this for me. Mac, that's one of the first things you taught me. Make it part of you. Keep it with you. Yeah, I know. It is part of me. But it's not my life. For 24 hours, I'm walking away from it. Take it. Don't worry, Richie. It's holy ground. Joe. Hello, Rita. I heard about Ian. What a loss. Joe, I know we had words, but that doesn't mean that we still weren't friends. Cloud's been around a long time. He can take care of himself. Yeah. Sure. He can take care of himself. He's on an island, a place the Indian shamans used. Rita, that's holy ground. He's got to come back, doesn't he? Yes, he does. Seven on enemies. 
you're why I'm here, McLeod. I've been tracking you for 15 years. Should I be flattered? He's got to be stopped, McLeod. Then why don't you stop him? I'm not a cop. Knock, knock. Over here. Are you pouring coffee or am I too early? Uh, I'll put a butt on. So, how is Christian? Oh, nothing exciting happening. Then you didn't hear, did you? Hear what? Justin called me last night. Christian took out Trent yesterday. You set him up. Just like you set up Mei Ling. Where's Christian now? It's too late to stop it. Maybe not. Dojo, this is Richie. What have you done? I just leveled the playing field. No. Now we do what we're supposed to. We wait. Michael Christian. And you're not on holy ground now, McLeod. You're so right. You haven't got a chance. Huh! 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 
Mac! Hey, Richie, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good. It's nice to see you. Nice to see you, too. Thank you, Joseph. For everything. Yeah. What are friends for? <laughs> 